I tell like the guys I coach now, I'm like, I've changed as a coach. Like I'm more patient and I'm more patient because I've had four children. I had prepared myself mentally to do whatever it took to win. That's just the way I thought. I exhausted myself in high school. I lost in two state championship games. I lost in the state semifinals my junior year. The losing infuriated me. It drove me. It was probably the best thing for my development. Scranton's my hometown. It's the place that molded me, shaped me. The families that raised us were all blue collar. They were all hardworking people. And we were all middle class that thought we had everything. I've said it before, I don't know how many college athletes experienced what I did to kind of be embraced by two communities, one that I was from and one that I am technically from now. I was fully aware from the first moment I stepped on the court that from top to bottom, we had a really, really good team. We were really talented. After that Georgia Tech game, I felt like we were the best. And to this day, I still, I still look back at that game from my playing career to my coaching career. It was like as good a 20 minute performance as I've ever been a part of. What people don't see is this. They don't see us, the everyday grind of it. They see us perform 35 times. Um, but they didn't see the 145 times that we had to practice to perform. That's what I take more so than anything is just a life a lifetime worth of just an incredible stretch of memories.